Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Well, another day is beginning and uh, I'd like to invite you to a general tarot reading which is, which is open to all zodiac signs. Now, just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, that is the best time for you to see it. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy for today. Wow, okay, the main energy for today is the Six of Cups. This is a day for you to nurture your inner child. This is a day for you also to demand unconditional love from the universe. Okay. For some of you, you might have met somebody who is capable of unconditional love. And you are right now benefiting from that kind of friendship or romantic relationship or maybe familial relationship. It's just right now you are basking in unconditional love. This can also symbolize the universe giving you love unconditionally. Right now you are feeling loved, you are feeling blessed, and uh, I think you are also uh, bursting with joy that you'd like the world to also share in your love. This is also a time for you to nurture your inner child. For some of you, maybe you underwent some trying moments in the recent past, and right now you are in the process of healing. And so you are spending more time nurturing your inner child so that it will undergo fast recovery. Now, it takes time, but the important thing there is to make this loving yourself a way of living, a part of your life. Not just for this moment when, for example, for a moment wherein you are trying to recover and then afterwards you forget yourself again. No. Uh, once you know how it is to experience unconditional love from the universe and also to experience unconditional love from other people, don't settle for anything less than this loving relationship. So if ever you find yourself in another loving relationship again, don't hesitate to give unconditional love. However, expect also unconditional love from these people. Uh, have good boundaries. Don't let other people uh, take advantage of the love that you are willing to give. You deserve also the best. Now, let's try to see how this will unfold in the near future. Well, for some of you, you will be leaving behind certain relationships that are where you do not feel the unconditional love. Okay, Maybe it's not completely leaving it behind, but the, qual the, the level of closeness might be sort of adjusted. For example, if before it was a romantic love, but you notice that it was an unrequited one, then of course you don't lose yourself along the process. You tell yourself, I deserve something much more. And so you move on and look for another loving relationship or romantic relationship where you will be nurtured the way you are receiving unconditional love. So you need a loving relationship, a mature, a mature loving relationship. You deserve the best. So in a certain sense, yes, you continue maybe at the level of friendship, but you know that you deserve something much more. And some other people might deserve this dedication or this commitment that you are willing to give. A love that is unconditional. So, in a certain sense, for some of you, you are leaving behind certain relationships that are not healthy. Now, leaving behind these things will require some sacrifice on your part and will require patience as you undergo a healing process. Because whether you like it or not, leaving behind something can also sort of uh, bring some hurt also. Because in a certain sense, for a certain period of time, you already in, you also invested something on the relationship. So as you leave the relationship behind, you need some time to nurture yourself back to health. So I think this is a big step to have the courage to move away from relationships that are not healthy and to 
immerse yourself in a relationship that is more satisfying and more fulfilling and a relationship that will allow you to grow and to evolve. Now, what is the advice of the universe for you? Well, yes, work on the relationship, make it even more stable and whatever it is, uh, somehow also it is this card can also be an assurance to you that if you are in a relationship where unconditional love is being shared then it will lead to stability and for some of you it can be also that this person is a marriage material so if you have met somebody who is giving you mature unconditional love then the universe might be saying this is the man the person meant uh, a possible person that could spend the rest of their lifetime with you because this card of the four of wands can also symbolize marriage and a beautiful marriage where there is a lot of celebration celebration in all aspects the physical realm and in the inner realm there is a certain joy in it a certain celebration so another thing is also if you are happily single right now uh, somehow Nurturing yourself will lead to stability and also a happier life. So in a certain sense, even if you leave this situation behind, you will still remain stable as long as you continue to nurture yourself, as long as you love yourself unconditionally, and also you expect others to love you also in an unconditional way. And you also give love unconditionally. So I feel uh, somehow this can also symbolize maturity. Whatever this life experience you've had in the past, this will allow you to grow even more and reach that level of maturity wherein you feel stable and you are able to celebrate the present moment. So this is what we have for our tarot card reading. Let us now go to the second part which is the self-care for our self-care tip, the card belongs to the Affirmators card deck and the card for today is entitled Manifestation. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and <laughs> get greedy. <laughs> you are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you are actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that, in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen? Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. Okay. I oftentimes tell my friends, those who are close to me, be careful of what you dream of. They will come true. And they truly do. Especially if it is something that is for the benefit of not only yourself, but it will also bring benefit to the whole of the cosmos. Because when the universe sees that your dream is something that is in line for the betterment of the whole universe, they will definitely support you. So this is one of the secrets of manifesting things. And besides, the universe loves us so much, loves us unconditionally, just like in our tarot reading, that they would like the best for us. So if, for example, like in the tarot card reading, some people are in a relationship that is <clears throat> not quite sort of not quite the one that they would want to be where the relationship might be one-sided where they feel that they are shortchanged in the loving and giving the universe also doesn't want you to be in such a situation we can learn from that situation and accept it as part of our life history but we don't have to stay in such a situation we can manifest in our life a better one but in order for us to make that manifestation a reality we need 
to develop unconditional love in ourselves. Love begins in us. First, we nurture ourselves. We learn to love ourselves for who we are in all our uh, colorful characteristics, the good and the bad, the light and the dark. If we learn to accept ourselves and love ourselves, then we will draw energies and people towards us who are also able to love us in all our colorful splendor. We draw what the energy that we have. So in a certain sense, if you have that energy of appreciating who you are, the beauty in you, then people who also will appreciate the beauty in you will be drawn energetic energetically towards you. And it starts with knowing that you are not alone and the universe loves you unconditionally. Even if everybody leaves you behind, the divine will always there be, will always there with you, will always be there with you. And uh, in those loneliest moments, you will discover that it is only the divine who can be there for you. So in a certain sense, we start with loving ourselves and when you start to love yourself even more, you can manifest a more uh, fulfilling loving relationship because that self-love will draw unconditional love also from other people or will draw people who are capable of giving you unconditional love. At the same time, we need to develop also the capacity to love unconditionally to make it an equal giving and taking, uh, a mature exchange where both sides contribute to the betterment of the relationship. So right now the card invites us to not hesitate to manifest things and to be positive that it will come true. The way the, the writer of the card somehow expresses itself, you can see already that the one who is writing or the one who is expressing the message is already positive that what he or she is asking will already come true. So it's yeah having that faith of a child, asking and believing that what they have asked will be given to them or if not, something much better and even more will be given for them or given to them. So this is what we have for our Good Morning Tarot. I hope you were able to gain some insights, some inspirations, and some answers to some questions you might have at this present moment. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again in our next videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.